live from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. The search efforts are still going on for the diver, 36-year-old Tim Obi, who disappeared while diving in yesterday near Mayport. A Coast Guard commander for the Jacksonville sector says most of the search efforts have been near the surface because they believe Obi was last seen by his friends about five feet below the surface. News for Jacks reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, the search is still going on. Yes, the U.S. Coast Guard currently has a cutter out there right now. It'll stay out there all night to search. Now, I'm at the Mayport boat ramp right now. Look behind me. You can see these two signs here. They say missing at sea, and they say Timmy Obi, and they give a description of where he was last seen. Now, JFRD and JSO dive team were out there today. They were using devices to scan the waters, even as low as the bottom of the sea, to see if they could find anything that would lead them to Timmy Obi. You're probably just shocked hearing about it. I can't imagine. I threw gear together in all tail the fat, as soon as I heard about it. Christopher Borger, a local dive instructor, says he'd been diving with Timmy Obi a few times. I mean, he's a strong, he's a strong guy. I mean, he's a strong diver. He's got the experience uh, for sure. So this is it's a hard hit. Borger says he wants to help find him. Family says 36 year old diver and father of three, Timmy Obi, has been missing since Saturday afternoon. They say he went on a boat around 645 Saturday morning with three of his friends, but that's the last time they knew his whereabouts. Mark Vlon, Coast Guard commander for the Jacksonville sector, says the three divers performed a safety stop together at 15 feet below the surface. Vlon says Obi was behind two other divers, and the last time they made contact with him was five feet from the surface. At that point, two of the divers eventually surfaced. Um, and one of the divers did not, as, uh, as he was apparently still coming up from behind the other two divers. Vlon says this happened near Elton Bottom, which is 46.5 miles east of Jacksonville. Vlon says the water is anywhere from 90 to 120 feet deep. I know the bottom. I know the reef. A lot of us spearfishing guys go out there all the time. The Coast Guard says the divers were spearfishing. Obi's wife, Lizzie, says he's an experienced swimmer and diver. He used to be a Jack's Beach lifeguard and a member of the American Red Cross Volunteer Life Saving Corps. Family put up signs around the Mayport boat ramp urging people to help in the search. Coast Guard, JSO, JFRD, FWC, along with many other community volunteers have helped in this search. Now, the Coast Guard has that cutter out there. They're the only crew out there right now because the Coast Guard commander tells me that the aircrafts and the other smaller boats will resume in the daylight hours. I'm reporting live in Mayport, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Bree.